It's your boy Say Enjoy Fitness back again with another video this time focusing on advancing your chest strength. These are some exercises just for your chest and making sure that you could up the strength and again this is also a progress video showing you from where I came from to where I am now. But before we move forward with anything we got to talk about the verse of the week. The verse of the week is founded in Proverbs chapter 16 verses 1 to 4 and I'm going to read it for you here on this phone and you can see it on the screen over here too where you'll be able to read it with me. And it states, the plans of the heart belong to a person, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a person are clean in his own sight, but the Lord examines the motives. Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. The Lord has made everything for its own purpose. This is a good verse. This is a wonderful verse. Um, while you watch me warm up, just hear me out for a few seconds. One of the things I love about this verse is mostly in number in verse number two, where it says, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord and all the ways of a person are clean in his own sight. One of the things that we kind of try to do in this life is try to make our own way and and i feel like when we try to make our own way we lean not on god's understanding but we lean on our own and with that we may think it's good but it ain't you know what i mean a lot of times when it comes to um, life and when it comes to work, when it comes to being a part of a family or being just being you or doing what you got to do, you all you make decisions without investing God in them. And because of that, there is a lot of error. There is a lot of short sightedness. And, you know, God is a far sighted being. So therefore, if you include him by allowing it to be his will, all things work out for your benefit. But when you choose to take things under your own will and you choose to make your own choices without bringing him into any form of um by not investing them into any of it there is a strong chance that a negativity or something bad may happen so it's always important to make sure you put God forward because he's the one that understands the purpose he's the under, he's the one that created you with a purpose and at the same time you're going to the one who has all the treasures especially the future of your life is in his hands and it's important to allow him to be first before you move forward within the kingdom hey man I, I am glad that you guys are enjoying this Video. I hope that you guys are able to learn something and I hope that you guys are able to take this video and move forward and see if you could progress and grow strength within your chest. All right, I'll catch y'all guys. All right guys, all right guys, so now I'm on my second set and I'm putting 315 on. The question is, how did I end up here from when I was previously benching 275 after my injury of having my bulging disc and I'm still in, um, in the form of rehab and I'm still moving forward, I'm healing up and my doctor says I'm going to be okay so I'm actually back to where I used to be when I was repping earlier on in the in my whole cycle of moving forward when it came to starting this YouTube channel crap. But how did I end up going from 275 to where I am at now? Well, it's simple hard work, consistency, and starting over. 275 needs to be my foundation before I could start testing the weight. I originally first started with 315 as my last set just to see where I could go and by seeing if I only got two or three reps, I worked and worked for months and months and months. I could tell I could finally perfect it. My goal is to rep it out for eight, five sets of eight. I want to get there and that's what I'm working towards. And you saw in the video that I just showed in the corners about my 275s and how where I was at when I was benching that. So my strength has increased it increased steadily it increased with some consistent with definitely a lot of consistency and it definitely definitely increased um, from the fact that I just put in a lot of effort a lot of trial and error until I got it right but I am there I can bench 315 for reps um, on five but let's see how far I could go in the future all right one of the things I forgot to tell you about because I got too excited. Um, when it comes to warming up, create a method that works for you. The method that works for me is I do a pyramid going up to my six reps or five reps or to whatever working reps I'm gonna be doing for my sets or in my exercise. So what I'll do is I'll do the bar for about um, 10 reps, usually 12. 
sometimes 10 it all depends on how I'm feeling and then I work my way down to eight six four or like I said work down to the reps In this case my reps were five five reps so I worked down so I did one thirty. I did the bar just for um, 10 reps I did um, 135 for eight and then I did um, 185 for six and then I did um, 225 for about five um, to six just to kind of see hey can I do 275 for my set first set I felt pretty good so I put 275 on and that's how I started my first set everything else followed right after that 315 was right after my 275 and I did 315 for three straight sets I'm gonna slow the video down and let you see it so that you don't think I'm lying to and cheating Right now, we're doing incline. Now it's crazy, and I know you probably have seen the video um, already to, on my previous bench um, incline bench press where I was doing it as a superset. But still, 185 was my working set. It was my working weight. Um, I was able to get it probably on heavy days for about four to five. Um, or I want to say four to six reps. But now I could do five sets. If not, um, I'm pretty sure it's five sets. No, I did four sets. I could do four sets of eight reps of 225. Which again, um, going from 185 to 225 has been another thing where I've worked really, really, really hard for to get there. So being able to rep it out like that and just be able to get it done and still be able to have energy for the rest of the exercise is definitely an accomplishment uh, accomplishment for me. So the progress is crazy. I'm loving it. And let's keep going, guys. Let's see where we could go. Let's see how we where this could actually end. I don't know, man. I don't know. It could keep going. Alright guys, so for our third exercise, we're going to be doing dumbbell incline presses. We're going to be doing four sets of these for about 10 reps. You want to go, I want to say, you want to put your 80 to 90% into your 10 reps. So you want to make sure that you're struggling. By the time you reach your last set, you want to be barely making it to 10 reps. So go up in the weight because what's going to happen is with this exercise, you're able to isolate and work on each pectoral on its own efforts and its own efficiency. It allows you to not have that seesaw effect when you're benching, so you're able to build on your balance. At the same time, it allows you to create and you know build up your stabilizing muscles so that when it comes to doing big weight, you're feeling good about it. You're not feeling perplexed. You're able to adjust and do what needs to be done to shut things down. Again, do this exercise to your fullest, and after this exercise, we're gonna jump into the next one. All right, catch.
muscle for the last exercise for the strength building series. Um, again, this is just part two. We have a part three coming on. I'm going to definitely um, focus on the accessory exercises that you can then apply to your workouts as of now. Um, the video is already too long, so I'll make a separate video with part two. It'll, pro it'll probably be a lot, a lot, a lot shorter, but you want to make sure you got dumbbell inclined flies. It's not something that you see a lot of people do, but at the same time, it develops and just as the um, incline dumbbell presses, build the top portion of your chest, which is usually everyone's weakest portion of the month. It's my weakest, but again, you have to work on it. You have to take your time. You got to do these little exercises here and there to kind of get it so that it could be up to par. But the incline dumbbell press is key to making sure that you're able to get the definition, the strength, the balance, and also be able to get it nice and chiseled so that when you go out for this summer, your chest could do this. Yeah, yeah, just a little show off. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy your day. And again, saying, where is your pride? Be safe, guys. God bless. Nip first.